All right, so for all you workhorse owners, Winnebago owners that also have the Vortec, the 8.1 Vortec engine, I've had this come up a couple times and haven't seen any videos or anything about it, so I'm going to bring this up, is where when you're driving down the road at high RPM, the no oil or the low or no oil pressure light will come on. It gets this low. Uh, let me flip the key here. I'm going to show you what light I'm talking about. Okay, that light right there. It's only on there. You can get done beeping. Okay. So when you see that little oil can light come on, it's never good, especially when you're driving down the road. So the scenario is people are driving down the road, normal driving, it's fine. But you maybe you're climbing a hill, your RPMs are really high, close to 4,000, and you'll notice at that time the light may come on. Now. There's something else you may or may not know is you can also can watch your oil pressure on your dash. So just go down here to your mode button, tap it, no push, there you go. Tap it a couple once, twice, highlight oil pressure, let it sit there and it will change. Now you, you can monitor your oil pressure. So let's start up, see what mine is at idle. All right. So we're idling at 46 PSI. So for the people that's driving down the road and the light comes on as they're driving down the road, that, that means the oil pressure has had to get below 5 PSI because it has to drop below 5 PSI in, in order to force that light to come on, the one I pointed up a second ago. So, but now what I found out that's happening is the oil pickup tube is dropping off the oil pump. And what's strange is how, under normal driving conditions, the, the oil pump can still get enough oil to take care of the engine's oil pressures. It's only under high RPM that it runs into problems because of those high RPMs, a bulk of the oil is still up in the top end, up in the valve cover. It can't drain down quick enough, so it starts gulping and sucking in air. So I'm going to take you in the house and I'm going to show you some more pictures. Okay, I'm back in the house. Bear with me. I'm just going to try to show, show you some screenshots here from the computer. So here's what we're looking at. So here's your oil pump. Here's the oil pickup. Of course, it's upside down from the way it normally is positioned. And this is like the um, like an oil splash guard, I think. This sits just below the crankshaft. And you see the oil pump. Now, when that tube falls off, evidently we still have enough oil in the oil pan. It can still suck and, and give us maintained oil pressure. Um, there's another shot of it also. Also, I was going to, I thought about this out there too. If you haven't had this scenario where you're seeing your oil light come on under high RPM and you want to confirm, well, did my tube fall off or not? Well, here's another shot. This is what it looks like. This is, this is the one that actually fell off on a fella. He sent me a picture of it and you see where the crankshaft, something got a hold of it and nicked it up. Here's what a factory new pickup tube looks like. Of course, you can buy them anywhere. But I did think of a way, because there's two different ways you could probably confirm this. One way is when you drain your oil out from your drain plug, reach in there with a stiff wire or screwdriver and feel around. If you feel anything moving around, clunking, making noise, that's going to be your pickup tube. Or if you had a little scope, you make those little scopes you can put on your, your phone, a little USB, real small. You can stick up in there with it's got a light on it. You can see exactly what's going on. Even if, extreme, you could take this out here. This is a low oil sensing unit. If you get low on oil, the, it turns on the light. That will, I believe that unscrews from the block. So that would give you a larger hole to look in there and, and to see what's going on. And you can, in an 8.1 Vortec, on a workhorse chassis like a W24, at least I know for sure, you can do this work without pulling the engine. You can drop the pan. You can't remove the pan, but you can drop it low enough so you can get in there and, and do this work and, and get it done. And let me see. Actually, there's a tool for that. Let me show you some more stuff that I found. That's not it. Hang on. There it is. So this is an install tool for driving um, the oil pump tube back on because it's just a friction fit like a press fit okay so that was one i think i got another picture here about the same there there's just another angle of his uh tube that fell out of his oil pump 
What else do I want to show you? Let me see here. I got some different pay. Okay, this is something. Now, this is actually not on an 8.1 Vortec. This is on a 454. But this article that was talking about uh, the process of installing it. But one thing I think I saw interesting. There it is. I've talked to other mechanics. One thing they do, because evidently this is a somewhat common occurrence. These things can come off maybe more in racing applications. But you can see how they, they go in there and they spot weld it. So they ensure that it will not come loose. I don't know if we need to go to that extreme or not, but it's just to show you that that's an option. Um, I had some more pictures here I wanted to point out to you. Okay, here's one. This is kind of scary. Uh, this is an 8.1 Vortec that blew up. So this fellow was talking about, and I think he, this was not an RV, but uh, his article says it's Vortec 8100 came apart at approximately 4800 RPM. 4800 RPMs, wide open throttle. And when it did, it. Sorry, I got a call there. When it did, it really made a mess. It uh, it tossed a rod. Uh, but in this picture, let me show you a better picture because I reversed the image. Okay. So you can see here the block. That's just the gasket. And here's the that's the, the shield just below the crankshaft. You can see here's an oil pump where it, or suction part what comes in. There's the pickup tube. Just to give you an idea what it looks like when it's in the engine or when the oil pan is removed. I thought that was an interesting photo. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, this is an interesting photo I came across. So this is uh, just a cutaway where someone's cut the bottom of the oil pan out just to give you an idea what it looks like. That's our oil sense, low oil sensing unit. So if you unscrew that, that's going to give you a pretty good access hole to look in there to see if your your dipstick tube, your dipstick tube, uh, pickup tube has fell off or not. You know, <clears throat> like I mentioned before, I really, I really don't know how common this is, but if you happen to have a situation, you're climbing a hill and you notice your oil light come on, this could have happened to you. So just something to, to be aware of. And if you've already experienced this, chime in. Call me, leave a comment, let me know um, what you did, what, what how it happened, and so we can spread the news. Hopefully, I never experienced this. Hopefully, you never experience it, but at least we know it's a possibility and what what the cause is. Like I said, I think I mentioned before, you this this can be repaired. You probably could do it yourself. If you got you know you're halfway mechanically inclined. Just drop the pan. You won't be able to remove it, but you can drop it low enough. You can get in there and. Uh, Put a new tube, tube pickup tube on it, a new oil pickup tube, and then um, use a special driver driver tool. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the right one. I, I pulled this one up. I think it's right. I hope I haven't scared you too bad. But just something putting your memory bank. If you're climbing up a, a steep hill, high RPM, you, you see an oil light come on. At least you can get a rough idea of possibly what the cause is, and chime in with me if you've had this happen to you in the past. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.